<laughs> Anything he say, just say, uh -huh. <laughs> But uh, one, time, one thing I want to say is that I just want to give glory to God for the opportunity to marry this woman. There is some things that you look at in the life of a man. You know, there's a man of a woman of God that came to our church sometimes ago. He said, Don't marry a man because he has a television. Marry a man because he has a vision. You know, in those times, I didn't have anything. You know. Uh, I have just one clothes that I used to wear because uh, when I graduated from university, I didn't have a job. So my in-law, I mean my cousin was here, Diolu. Praise the Lord for him. They came all the way from California. I was, it was a surprise. They came in their family. So I live with them. My uncle at that time, that's my cousin. So I used to have a one shirt. I go, to, because my wife was working in a bank, I didn't know I was going to marry her. I go there to take picture. <laughs> so she would look at me, this man with one shirt. <laughs> So, and I love that shirt so much that when I wash it, I will put it on again. It's a great shirt. Do you remember? I remember, sir. <laughs> so, one shirt. So, but uh, as, you know, the first day I walked into a bank, to the bank, God told me something. He said, This woman is a wife material. God told me that. That this is what the Lord told me as soon as I walked into this bank. That this woman is a wife material, but I think because he's not married then too, that you I think maybe God is telling you to go ahead and go and make a proposal to her. And to the glory of God, the brother made a proposal to her. Because I knew I was I couldn't marry her because she worked in a bank and uh, didn't have a job. So I was just a photographer, you know, I mean campus photographer when I graduated from school. So the brother went and did proposal, but along the line, the thing didn't work out. So, <laughs> so when it didn't work out, so me, I forgot about getting married. I was like, hey, when time comes, God will do it. So, and at the point in time, I got a job in Abuja. So I was working in Abuja, uh, OSC Insurance, after I finished my master's in UI. So I was working, then I got, I was a Baptist, I grew up as a Baptist. So I was, uh, when I got into Ibadan, we got attended to uh, uh, Oli Oli, uh, Deolu. Yes, <laughs> Sorry, I have a business in the house, that's what I'm calling him. Yes, What's that? Uh, Living Spring Chapel, right? Yes, Pastor yes, Femi Manuel. Yes, that's the church we go when I was in Ibadan. Yeah, Living Spring Chapel, uh, Pastor Femi Manuel. With my uncle. So I was going there. But when I got to Abuja, uh, the man that I was working with Oasis Insurance was a, uh, a redeemed pastor. So he was the one that brought me to redeem in 2000, 2000, 2000, 2002. So that's how I joined redeem. So when I was, the reason why I'm telling you this story is that when I was about to go to America, then in 2000, and 2000, 2000 I won a visa lottery. So I was about to go, you know, as a man of God, when you are serving under a fervent man of God, that is why you, he said, ah, Brother Dio, what did you, what are you doing about your marriage? I said, sir. Uh, when I get to America, I'll get a woman, I'll marry her. He said, no, please, I want you to pray about your marital life. I said, what? Uh, six months, old. it's not enough. I, how can I pray about my marital life within this, this short period of time? So he encouraged me. So that day, I made up my mind that, okay, if the man of God is saying this, I have to pray. I went into fasting and prayer for 21 days. Wow. The grace of God. So I fasted. <laughs> I fasted on, on the last day. Then I was equally fasting because I know I'm coming to America and I need strength. Because I've had a lot of stories about America. So I need the strength of God. That's what so made it that. So that day, when I, on the last day, so the man of God who asked me, what did you see? I said, I didn't see anything. <laughs> he keep asking me until the last day. When the last day came, he said, ah, God told me that ah, you have somebody that you, are, you have met a long time ago. This, that person is your wife. I said, how can I go meet her? Then when I was working in Abuja, OSC insurance, they paid me 10,000 naira. 
She's working in a bank. How can I compare? I said, I don't know how to do it. So along the line, I told the man of God, I said, this is what is going on. She said, go ahead. If it's your wife, the Lord will minister to her. So I went from, I was doing my visa lottery. I was going to Lagos. So one of these days, I was coming from my garden. I, I mean, from uh, Lagos. I branched in, the, uh, in, my, in, my, in my uncle's house. So I went there, and I told her. She looked at me. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> she says she will pray. She says she will know me now. <laughs> she says she will pray about it. I said, okay. Yeah, that's great. So I went back to Abuja. I stayed in my uncle's place and I went to Abuja. So you know, when the man of God asked me, I said, "This is what I." You know, I said, "Yeah, let her pray." So and eventually, at long last, there's a lot of story I can't tell now. So whoever wants to listen to you, I'll listen to you. They come with me to talk to me. So one thing I said, I thank God I did not miss her. Because if I missed her, I don't know what I was going to be doing today. But so when I got sick, she was by my side. So that is why, you know, when I told Pastor I want this to be a surprise, Pastor said, ah, you know. He doesn't like surprise. <laughs> That's our pastor. He said, no, he doesn't like surprise. I said, ah, pastor, please. I want you to be a surprise. And this is the reason why. Because I wanted to surprise her. I wanted to let her. Know. Sometimes a woman say, oh, I don't even know you love me. I, say, oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. So, but I just want to show it. That, uh, uh, and it's difficult. Like pastor said, it's difficult. Last night, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Last night, I couldn't sleep. I was running on the bed. I'm rushing her. Do something to cap it up. Since he told me last night, I said, ah, you know, I suspect your wife might be suspecting that you're doing something. I said, I don't know. He said, we're going to do another surprise. So, Brasina came to my house early in the morning, 6 a.m. And wake her up, woke her up on the bed with a trumpet. Wow. So, we sang a birthday day to her and all that. And uh, she was like, okay, maybe this is a surprise. <laughs> So I was like, this morning, this evening when I came and said, I saw Pastor, I mean, bro, she, I said, thank God you did that and I appreciate that. So everything erased from my mind, maybe, maybe this is a surprise. Yeah, and uh, thank God. So I want to appreciate God for the opportunity, for the patience, because it requires patience. Because it got to a point that I was like, man, let me just go. I'm already a wife in America, so let me just go. And thank God I fasted because, you know, the first time, I, was, I don't know who I was telling, the first time I came to America, when I was working in 7 Eleven, a, 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 a lady called me. She said, Oh, I don't have a girlfriend. Uh, I don't have a boyfriend. Do you want to be my boyfriend? That was, that was the first time I would hear that in my life. And I was married. I married. September 18, 2003, and I came to America September 23rd, 2003. So two days after I got married, I left. So, and I was here until 2007 that my wife joined me. So, but to the glory of God, I've been faithful. So, I want to appreciate Amen. Look, look at your neighbor, say I go love oh. <laughs> So those are the reasons that surround that so these surprises. So I want to appreciate God. Thank you for my pastor. Because today we're supposed to be praying in the church. But for him to have given me that opportunity, I appreciate my pastors. Every pastor, I appreciate you, sir. The Lord bless you, sir. All right, so we have this plan for later in the program, but I just feel like it is the perfect time to do a toast. Right? So please let us get our glasses ready. Let us get on our feet. And can we get them glasses to Sadupe? We will say cheers, right? We will say cheers to prosperity. Everybody will say, ah, ah, this is your cheers, you know? What's going on? We will say cheers to long life. You will say, cheers. all right. So. All right. Cheers to prosperity. Yes. Cheers to long life. Yes. Cheers to many more years to come. Yes. Cheers to a successful marriage. Yes. And cheers to making heaven. Yes. Cheers. Hallelujah.
This chandelier did all this decoration. She did not have this one. You people have believed me like that. <laughs> but the person that put all this together, let's put our hands together for Sister Dupe. Dupe event, where is she? Let's celebrate her. If you have birthdays, weddings, any events, you can always uh, contact her. She's a very lovely event planner. And let's put our hands together for the band, one man band, Brother John, right there. There we go. And our photographer. Mayor of Majors, put your hands together for him. And our esteemed videographer, can we celebrate him also? And celebrate me as your wonderful MC, MC Kobe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Kobe Nigeria Limited. So now, for the cutting of the cake, we are going to call on Mommy Remy to lead us in this uh, cutting of the cake. I just uh, say one or two things and then we'll cut the game. Give me what you saw. But something stood out in this place. Green color. Um, green is fruitfulness, right? So this family will be fruitful. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. Spiritually, you'll be fruitful. Amen. Physically, you'll be fruitful. Amen. Financially, you'll be fruitful. Amen. By the time your children get married, they will be fruitful. Amen. Your children will surround your table. Amen. And um, brother, your sister, Titi, you will live so long Amen. that you see your children children to the fourth generation Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your life will be colorful Amen. and be beautiful Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, um, sister, Titi, put your hand on the life, brother, and you are digging that, okay? Yeah, don't, you're okay, don't just, that's for the two of them, okay? Okay, your time will come. Amen. So, Together we are going to, since these people are believers, we are going to say three words together yeah. uh, that they will hold the cake. Say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is, coming. is coming again. again. Oh. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I think um, um, the Sister City, I mean Sister Dupe, we are going to cut the cake and they will now feed you. Somebody say, oh. Aww. Say, oh. See, mommy is blushing. Mommy Titi is blushing, eh? Press Have you ever seen a black person blush? So, I'm going to do the supervision of the feeding. Okay, guys, you can see that we want. Yes, this is for adults only. Children cannot see this part. <laughs> Sister Dupe, where is the knife? Sister Dupe, oh. Can I get a plate? I can prepare the food for them. Sister Titi, this one that they surprise you, surprise them. Oh. Surprise them very well. Okay. Sister Dupe, we are waiting for you. Thank you so much, sir, for this surprise. I know somebody is going to surprise me very soon. <laughs>
with everybody. But first, we are going to have the dance. Ah, uh, over to you, Brother John.
so much. Thank you so much, everybody. I know people have left, but uh, I cannot, I don't have the words to express my appreciation this evening. I'm so much grateful to everybody for the opportunity for showing up. You know, I call people, I tell a lot, I told a lot of people that it's going to be a surprise. And people are like, okay, are you sure? <laughs> but to the glory of God, people kept, kept it as a surprise. I want to appreciate our pastor in absentia, our regional pastor, regional mommy, the pastors in the house, Pastor Diola, Pastor Fumbi, uh, Pastor Dimit, everybody in the house, Pastor Lok, everybody, every minister. I just want to, Pastor Shad, everybody. And I also want to thank uh, our, uh, 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 what it, the organizer, uh, Sister Dupe, I so much appreciate her. And Dick uh, Makomans, I so much appreciate you. They have been running underground, background. My wife was like, what is he calling for? Why are you so, what are you talking? <laughs> so, but I just want to appreciate everybody for the opportunity, for showing up and for uh, believing us and celebrating with us. Thank you so much. You are all welcome. So, uh, we're going to call on uh, Pastor Adiola to take us in the closing prayer real quick. Praise the Lord. Praise the Jesus. We are going to pray a very short prayer. I do not expect people to leave. Um, particularly, you know, when you go outside there to go and do party in the world, you stay till dawn. <laughs> and I expect you dawn at this kind of party as well. There's no place you are rushing to because we are for ourselves. So if you come to my party and you leave this way, I won't invite you again. <laughs> Amen. We know that it's time to Okay, why did, you know, we're actually supposed to be at prayer meeting right now. And the Sally Brand is a key member of our prayer group. And this morning when I called to pray with her, she's asked, are we going to, what Bible passage are we going to read tonight? And I said, the one that we ought to read last week that we didn't read, which is Isaiah chapter 66. And I asked her, are you going to be present at the prayer meeting? She said, yes. So I said, well, we are going to pray hard at the prayer meeting tonight. So here we are. And let me tell you what Isaiah chapter 66, I'm praying already. What Isaiah chapter 66 says, Thus says the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the heart is my footstool. And it says, where is the house that you build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? So God speaks about rest in this prayer, in this passage. And I pray for you, Sister Titi, you have rest for the rest of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord speaks about throne. And every believer has got a throne. I pray for you, your throne shall not be taken away in the name of Jesus. The Lord speaks about building in this passage of the Bible. I pray for you, your house shall not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for all that has happened here. And we pray, Lord, as we all depart here tonight, let your peace be with us in the name of Jesus. And Lord, let your glory continue to rest upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. A round of applause. Want to spray? You can come and spray now. Thank you very much.
Thank you.